like this shirt. Too bright. But I've been wearing black like in every video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Halloween Happy. So you probably noticed a little something different. I chopped my bangs a little too short, like always. Kind of crooked, but it's okay. They grow back out. My background, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I used to keep my desk in my closet, but I had a hard time putting all of my Halloween stuff that I started to buy this year in here because this is like where everything goes. I'm just gonna show you guys some candles that I got from Bath and Body. They are now having their fall scents, which I'm very happy about. By the time you see this, I think they probably, they might, but I got these candles, buy one, get one free. Let me know in the comments below if you've bought any fall candles just yet. I bought six candles and I got six for free. This one is buttercream icing. Amazing, it's super sweet, just like frosting that you would imagine that it smells like. But this is whipped buttercream, rich vanilla, and sweet cream. And I like the label, has a little bit of orange, gives you that fall feeling. Wake up Saturday morning and you remember you made cupcakes last night because you were hoping that it was Halloween and it wasn't. And so you're like, I guess I'll eat this buttercream cupcake even though the sun's shining and it's August. <laughs> what? Then the next one, I have never burned this. I don't remember seeing it last fall or any other fall, so if you guys know if it's a new fragrance, let me know in the comments below. Spiced Pomegranate Cider. My favorite fragrance from Yankee Candle is Pomegranate Cider. Have you guys ever smelled that? Oh, it is like a Halloween party in a jar. That is the one fragrance that I burn during my Halloween party, even though I can't really burn candles as much as I used to because there's more people that come. If you burn palm cider and, um, oh, the patchouli, it can be patchouli or witch's brew, it's the same fragrance. Such a wonderful smell. It's like if you were to hug one of the Sanderson sisters, that's what they would smell like. It smells like pumpkin to me. It smells a little like rhubarb, is that what it's called? Rhubarb plum, which I don't like. Red pomegranate, sweet apple cider, maybe that's what I'm smelling. Muddled blackberry and star and eyes. I'm wearing some Halloween earrings. These ones are little bags that say trick or treat. How cute and fun is that? So the next one is Autumn, this beautiful guy. Look at him with this happy label, just having leaves on him. And he's like, look, I'm gonna be up front in this relationship between you and I. I like leaves, I smell like leaves. Okay, so it's not bad. It smells like apple, also smells like balsam. Let's see, apple, juicy fig, I think that's what I smell. Ooh, and eucalyptus and balsam. So this could definitely be like a good fall candle, obviously, and then also kind of transition you into Christmas because it has um, the balsam in it and eucalyptus is nice and relaxing. I'm talking too fast. I've drank a lot of coffee and it's hot and I can't breathe. You know what looks really good on a person? A flannel. Hello, you look good in that flannel, right? I should get Miles a flannel. How cute would he be in a flannel? So this one is called flannel. Oh man, this smells like you're hugging some sexy guy. And this one, it's crisp, autumn air, bergamot, mahogany, and soft musk. Oh man. Marshmallow Fireside. This little guy right here, you guys have probably burned it, I'm sure. Smells like marshmallows, obviously. I think it has a little bit of vanilla. Kind of smells like a wood, like a fire burning or maybe some kind of woodsy scent. Let's see. Toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. That's the one I cannot get. Sweater weather. Look at that candle, look at that little label. Don't you just wanna go live in one of those trees out in the woods, uh, minus the sunshine. So just a nice blue, and let's see. It leaves, a little bit of wood. I can't think of what else is in it. So sage, juniper berry, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Caramel, pumpkin swirl. Label looks pretty appetizing. Really sweet, almost too sweet. Maple syrup, vanilla or buttercream. Fresh pumpkin, obviously. Caramel, grated cinnamon, and vanilla bean. So yeah, I mean, that's a it's a good food one if you guys like food fragrances. Cinnamon sugar donut. Um, what is, okay, what is wrong with this label here? Not only did I get a free candle, I got a free label. Just smells like one of those 
good cinnamon sugar donuts. You got crushed cinnamon, sugar crystals, and homemade donut. I picked up leaves. That's what the label looks like, as you've already seen. Kind of sweet, and then once you get past like the first few aromas or notes, kind of pumpkin-y. I don't know what's in this one. Red apple, golden nectar. I think that's what I don't like about it. And warm clove spice. I stink and love clove, guys. Last candle, and I got three of these, um, which I will be getting more. I always burn this one. It's my number one favorite to burn from Bath and Body. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And look at how adorable this label is. Don't you just wanna go click out of this video after you watch it, of course. Uh, don't you just wanna go to the pumpkin patch? Like, call me and say, Sam, let's meet out a pumpkin patch in our flannel shirt. The most beautiful color of orange I could ever set my eyes on. This is my number one favorite that I love burning every single year. I will burn it even if it's in the summer or winter, whenever. It reminds me of like this and Spice Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. It just reminds me like a long time ago when I was a kid and I started going to Michael's with my mom. She would take me in there and they always played this song. I can't think of it, but it's like, I want you wait just a little bit longer. You guys know that song? Um, so yeah, I remember every time we walked into Michael's around Halloween and fall, that song would always be playing. And it was like at a different location that it closed down a long time ago. Like, Michael's is it's not what it used to be. And so anyways, and I remember like, we'd always smell the cinnamon stuff, like the cinnamon sticks, the cinnamon pine cones, and we'd always go look at the Halloween crafts, the Halloween decorations, and I remember I always saw like these, uh, big huge jingle bells that were painted orange and they had a jack-o-lantern face on it and I remember she always bought me it was like a necklace and she'd always buy me a necklace because I'd get it and then I would lose it every single time anyway so that's what every time I smell like any kind of spiced pumpkin or cinnamon it always makes me think of those memories and she loved this one so much this fall party burn this while you're watching Hocus Pocus with your windows open and getting out your fall decorations. I cannot wait, guys. Like, soon, soon. Those are the candles that I bought. Let me know which ones you have burned, which ones you are hoping to try. And they didn't have all of their fall fragrances out. They just had a little bit. The poor kid was like, oh, we have summer left over. I was like, don't you dare tell me about summer candles. You say goodbye to those summer candles, okay? You ship those candles back to the warehouse. No one wants them. We want fall. Don't forget, new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays with the occasional surprise video. Be sure to check out Halloween Happy on Facebook and on Instagram and on Snapchat. I need to get better with my snapping, guys. I'm doing the 100 days of Halloween. It's my photo challenge that I'm doing on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm taking a picture of a Halloween something. If you join, you don't have to do it every day. You can just jump in whenever you want, no pressure. Be sure to use the hashtag 100 days of Halloween and tag me in the photo. That way I can find it when you guys post it because sometimes it gets lost. Instagram has changed a lot and I don't like it. Hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I feel really lonely filming this video, guys.